Hello everyone, it's Natasha from Treasure Books. Look at all this yummy goodness. I have five journals to show you today and I'm hoping that this video will inspire you and give you lots of ideas. And of course, if you want to purchase any of the journals, the link to my Etsy shop is in the description below. Okay, let's start off with this purple one and I'll just show you a little bit more up close the cover. So you can see some details over here, some lace sequins, all hand sewn. See that there, these beautiful flowers over here. And then this is a sewn in ribbon closure. Okay, and then here we go. First page, we have just a few little pieces. This is a journaling spot and this journal belongs to, and then this little dangly on a paper clip here. So that's visible from the side. You can see, I love that look and first page or second page here i just have some a pocket and two tags in there this is all washi tape i think i actually did that in one of my tutorials 10 things to do with washi tape or something like that it was called i'm not sure and pockets here and there again this is a washi tape pocket well i shouldn't say that it's actually cardstock but it's been sewn around but these pieces are washi tape this here is a journaling spot. So that's just an image cut out of a book and I backed it onto some tea dyed cardstock. And then over here, what do I do here? This is a pocket and this kind of little thing sits behind this elastic band, which is pink, but it's actually showing up really dark in the video. And then turn the page. And as you will see, there's lots of sewing and lots of little things added and clipped into the pages. So sewing here, there's a little ruffle there. Here is a pocket there at the back and then this opens up and then that tucks in there. And then this here is actually a part of my master board. So it was a large piece, it was a master board. I think it was even done in a tutorial. And then I just trimmed it down and I have all of these journaling spots that I made out of it. All right, and here there's a bit of sewing there. You can see it on this side. This here can actually be unclipped, taken off. It's like an over the page little embellishment type thing. And then of course this piece here can be removed. This is napkin. I use the napkin transfer technique for this piece. I think it's better if we get a bit closer. Okay, here I have just sewn on a little bit of bit of lace and stuff there. This is from a Th Reader's Digest book. And then a pocket over here. It says family, love. And then you can see all these different types of sewing that I did. Bit of a wiggly line there and a zigzag here. And then this one here. Again, this is a napkin transfer. So it's just sitting on top of uh, over the page. And it opens up like this. And... This is a half of a napkin and I actually ironed it on top of this, some type of a wrapping paper that has a shiny side. So when you iron the napkin on top of it, it kind of, it, it sticks onto it. But then just in case I went around and sewn around. I was going to do a tutorial on that, but then I thought not everybody has that particular type of shiny wrapping paper, so I didn't. Okay, this is removable so you can pop it down anywhere you want and i dyed that with i think it was cabbage leaves that one there i have a video on using natural inks and then here a little pocket and a tag and a short page here again most of the things are removable and then this here is just a piece of calico with a rub on sticker and this is from taperology you may have seen my latest video and I was showing all of the stuff I got from Taperology. And one of the things was this rub-on sticker, or a lot of the rub-on stickers. And then this is wallpaper piece here. And then this is the middle of the signature. And you'll notice I've sewn some lace, both on top and the sides of the page. And then we keep going. And here is a little, like a little notepad that I clipped in. A cluster over here and a piece of cut out file folder. This here is a bookmark. It's like a movable bookmark and I have a tutorial on these. Uh, Corner Huggers I think it was called and it's just layered little bits of lace and you see just a few different little bits and pieces 
and then just a piece of magazine page here at the back and that creates this corner hugger. I think in that video I share three ways or five ways or seven ways of making them. I don't remember. I will link the video down below. This here is a clipped, uh, it's a book page. I'm not going to unclip it, but it's just clipped there on a page. And here I just did a little bit of sewing on, a, on this page and on the other side, this one here. Just to, you know, just for fun. I think it looks really nice. And then this is a sticker. This here is a plastic tag and then this is washi tape so you can actually use this washi tape you know unravel it and use it up over here is one of those you know motivational cards type of thing and this is also cabbage dyed watercolor paper i'm pretty sure this is cabbage dyed it has kind of a purple look or maybe it was the tea i, I can't remember just a little piece over here, a bit of sewing there, a fussy cut out image here of a flower. This is from Reader's Digest book. I love these images, of course. I use them up in my journals. A little fabric cluster there. And then this envelope, handmade envelope. And this is all actually my drawings and doodlings and stuff like that. And then I scanned it and printed it and this must have been back in the days when i did have a color printer because i don't have that anymore and just a few different bits and pieces in there and then again a page here just a bit of sewing and a pocket here this is turmeric dyed a raffle on this side zigzag sewing over here so every page has a little something and then a little tuck spot there and then this one here opens up this is also from typology these little frame things I forgot what they're called and then I just pop down some little stickers and stuff all right and then at the back page over here there's a few little things happening some tags there fluffy tops up there tag toppers that lives behind the belly band and then tucked down here and then this is a sticker that lives in there then we're nearing the back that can also be a little tuck spot and a little tuck spot over here with this moments journaling spot and then again this is a washi tape pocket we'll come back to that and two tags here this was done as part of a tutorial a little while ago and then over here at the back pop down this handmade by natasha from treasure books this is just a few different little bits and pieces that you can use in the journal and this is like a writing board and it's also a journaling spot so it's up to you if you want to use it as a journaling spot put it in a pocket or if you want to use it as a writing board even though there's not very many bulky pages so sometimes when you write things like this can get in your way so anyway that's what that is all right so that's that one okay side note I have to show you this. I got this from the washi tape shop along with some other things and I was going to do a video but I can't wait. I have to show this to you straight away. I'm going to leave a link to this in the description box along with the coupon code if you happen to love this as much as I do. This is an 18 karat gold plated lucky feather. How stunning is this and you know how much I love my bling. 18 karat gold plated lucky feather bookmark. That's what this is. Would you use this as a bookmark? Oh, I don't know. It's quite fancy. And the packaging is just so stunning. And I thought this is, this would be a perfect little Christmas present. And of course, a birthday present for anyone who loves to read. I probably won't be using this as a bookmark in my books that I'm reading, but I think I'll use it in my planner. Okay, let's keep going. Okay, next one is this green one and I'll bring it closer and it matches perfectly with my nails, completely accidental. It kind of looks Christmassy now that I'm looking at it. I mean, I don't really think that it's Christmassy, but you know, the combination of a little bit of sparkle and a little bit of red and green and then the gold, the gold closure, it does kind of look a little bit Christmassy. But in any case, when you look at the cover like this, it doesn't really scream Christmas, does it? So these are all separate pieces that are sewn directly onto this beautiful upholstery fabric. And then again, gold ribbon for a closure. And we open it up and then here right on the first page we have this journal belongs to. 
and a journaling spot. And that's clipped onto this beautiful vellum page, which again can pass as something Christmassy. And again, look at this. This can be something Christmassy too. So we'll just, uh, I don't know, maybe we should call this journal Christmas in July. No, I don't think so. I really don't think it's, it looks Christmassy. It's just now that it's, I'm thinking along those lines. All right, so this is again a rub-on onto calico. You can use that somewhere or in any way that you want. Lots of little bits and pieces that are clipped in on every page, pretty much. This is a doily. I did napkin transfer onto this doily. So basically I took one ply, the very top ply of the napkin, and I glued it on top of the doily. And it was very, very warped. The doily was extremely warped, but over time it flattened out. So anyway, I think it looks pretty cool. So then I just clip it onto the side of the page like this, and that creates a pocket or a tuck spot, as you can see here for this tag. Tuck that under there, and then on the other side, what have I got there? One of these recollections it was like an index card and then i t-dyed it and stamped on it so that goes in there and then over here a little tab and a bit of a ruffle here on the side of that page this is a page from an old calendar and i just sewn this on there's a little extension there tuck spot some pieces in there lots of sewing i just love to add a bit i wish i could add sewing on every single page but that would take much longer than it should. Uh, this is the washi tape that you can just peel off and use throughout your journal. And here again, one of those over the page uh, banners, I, I suppose you can call them. And then they're like tuck spots so you can have um, things, you know, there's an old photograph from 1950s from the street station here in Melbourne. This is a little pocket over here with a tag and then this photograph at the back timeless is that a pocket no it could have been you can clip something underneath and this piece here is the same as the one that i've shown you before this is the other side of the napkin the bottom part of the napkin and then i did the ironing on look the thing is it does iron on it does stick on but I feel like I have to sew around it because I've, if you tried to peel it off, it's quite easy to peel it off. All right, a little bit of a ruffle here. Now this one here comes completely off the page. This was after I made that uh, video of whimsical mason jars, I think it was called. And I had a few shapes left over. So I glued it directly. If you've seen that video, you know that I would be cutting out. Uh, of the the file folder but I didn't actually cut them out I left them like this so then it becomes this large journaling spot so that can be obviously moved around and you can cut it out yourself or up to you I forgot to bring you a bit closer okay here we go a uh, little ribbon is sewn onto the page and a bit of stamping over here and stamping over here and journaling spot and then over here a little pocket and this is an image come cut out of a magazine and then i just sewn it onto tea dyed paper and that goes in there like so and then middle of the signature lace just sewn up the top now this one here this is an envelope this was done in, in a, one tutorial or another where i take strips and little bits of paper you can see this it's kind of like a snippet roll, but I did it with just off cuts of paper and then I sew directly on and it was like a large piece and then I just trim it down and use it in my project. As you can see here, I added some fabric or, or lace, I should say, and then I just popped a few bits and pieces in there and the envelope itself was avocado dyed and embossed as well. I mean, just for one little piece so much work but it's fun work okay and then we keep going and here is a tuck spot and this is an image from some magazine it's kind of creates a tuck spot there and then a tuck spot here as well this little banner is sewn directly onto the page you can tuck something under there this was uh, also cut out you see 
you can be so creative with just things that are around you, magazines and most of these things that I have been pointing out and I have been saying every time I point it out. This is cut out of a magazine, that's cut out of a magazine, that's cut out of a magazine, you know. Uh, this is a sticker and then I've sewn the edge, beautiful. Then there's a little dog, I don't know, I just like this dog and he's just there, it's a sticker. Then this is another piece of that huge master board that I made and I just finally cut it down. Now this was in my last video. You may have seen this in my last video on DIY texture paste. So anyway, if you've seen this piece, you'll know what I'm talking about. I created it into an envelope and then just put some pieces in there. And this is also napkin transfer technique. Actually, it sounds so much more fancy than it is. It's just napkin ironed on that wrapping paper. I'll show you the wrapping paper. But let me put this back first. So this just clips onto the side of the page like that. And then that goes in there. And there we go. Okay. All right, here it is. It's just a paper roll. I can't even show you brand or anything. But I got it at Kmart. And you see how one side is shiny and the other one isn't matte shiny which you can't really tell because the roll is rolled up and sealed in plastic so you can't really tell so i think i just i don't know i just bought the roll and then i saw that one side is shiny and then so what happens is i you put your napkin over the top just one ply and then you iron over it and it sticks to the shiny side all right let's keep going this is just a little decoration there with some stickers and strip of paper this is um a printable Oh, yes it is but it was sent to me by a subscriber and then I have just two little beautiful pieces of paper there sewing on the edges and then what's this one here this is kind of like a hidden paper clip you see it's a paper clip but I mean we can't really call it hidden because you can kind of see the paper clip but what did I do this is the back I just basically put a paper clip over the top of this little leftover piece of file folder and then I semi hid the paper clip with some little bits and pieces as you can see and then that becomes a fun large paper clip because you pop it down on a page and then you can tuck anything in there this is a page out of a vintage book uh, I think it's like a nursery, nursery rhymes book I'm pretty sure okay and then a tab here that's a calendar page what's this one Ah oh, yes, just a few little pieces there. It can be moved around. You can pop it anywhere you want. Beautiful little rose here and a fabric tab over here. And just some more. Oh, this is a tuck spot. Let's pop something in there. I don't think I put one of these in there. So I'm just going to pop this one right in there. Just like that. And a little tab over here. Flower. And this is like an acetate. This is an acetate piece. I, I thought it was a sticker, but... It's not a sticker it's just an acetate piece of ephemera there and then this is a tag tucked onto this readers digest page wiggly sewing and handmade by natasha from treasure books and then that last page of vellum and then here at the back a writing board or journaling spot up to you and there we have it that's that one this will go here to the back all right let's do this one next so you can see this beautiful upholstery fabric and all of that sewing that goes along with the pattern on the upholstery fabric and then little extra bits sewn on these flowers and this beautiful trim and then we have this non-removable non closure purple on the inside and then this here is uh, it's a postcard from it doesn't have the year so in any case it is removable because not everyone loves photos of people that are you know or like old old photos of people that they don't know so in any case it's removable and there's that this journal belongs to and then over here there's a few little pieces happening journaling spot this came out of some fairy book and then this is uh, just hanging off of that paper clip there's a few pieces stuck onto this page. Glassine bag with just some little bits and pieces in there. So that's clipped on top of the page. And then we have the paper clip. And then that's clipped underneath. 
And then this piece, I think this is turmeric dyed paper. Yep, pretty sure. Or maybe that was paprika, I can't remember. And a sticker, and that goes in there. And then over here, we have a little cluster with all different fab fabrics that go really well. You know, they go with the overall color scheme. So that's there. Now this page here, you've already seen in the last two journals. When I make things, I like to, you know, make a few. And then that's a sticker that goes along with the color scheme and the theme of this journal. And then just some pieces tucked behind there. And then over here, a little piece of ephemera, piece of paper. And then this here, again, that napkin transfer technique. I love it. I mean, I was going to do a tutorial, but then I thought not everyone has that, you know, role and... This actually came out of a journal that I purchased from somebody else and I didn't end up using it, so it's in there. And then this is an image I cut out from a magazine or some book, I'm not sure. What was I saying? It's a flip-up piece of fabric that I stamped on. Uh, the napkin transfer technique. I didn't do a tutorial because I assume not everybody has that shiny paper and, you know, it may it might not be easily accessible and and i also didn't love the fact that the napkin can actually be peeled off really easily which is why i ended up sewing all around and then here's a tag behind that doily and so yes i didn't end up this is actually a print of a beautiful painting but a bit of fabric here on the edge of the page and a tab over here and some wiggly sewing i mean you're probably seeing similar things to what was in the other journals but there are slight differences here is a deep large pocket for a tag and i think all of these images the black and white the houses and all that i think that was actually out of a stamp book Here's a pocket here and a pocket here and a beautiful sticker. I just love these clear stickers. They're just the best. Just make everything so much better. Again, I forgot what I was saying. All right, so here is a envelope tucked onto the page and then just some little bits and pieces in there. And then this tag, this is just a little bit of an off cut of a wrapping paper. And I stuck it down and I embossed the little tag it was just a little off-cut piece of cardstock, actually, and then I made it into a tag shape. Okay, and now we are nearing the middle. I'm not sure if I mentioned... The... Anyway, the number of pages and all of that is going to be in the Etsy listing. So another one of these. That's a tuck spot there. I just popped it there. You can move your stuff around. This is pretty cool. A little horizontal belly band and a bee, not a butterfly this time, you see? I don't always use the butterflies. Zigzag stitching on the side of the page. Look, I have birds, I have flowers, I have, what's this? Skeletons from afar, but they're not actually skeletons. Ooh, what are those flowers called? I have no idea. But in any case, I love birds here. We have all sorts of stuff. If you don't know what I'm talking about, then, you know, I'll explain in a moment or not. Okay, so this is again that mason jar shape, kind of. Uh, if you haven't seen that video, then it won't, this won't make sense. But that's from that video as well. And this, is it glued in? Yes, I've glued that in. Just these two beautiful pieces. Look at that. The sun is out so I can show you the glory of those leaves. And that's a horizontal belly band. And that kind of sits up over the top of this page like so. You see? So much fun. A bit of sewn on trim there. So in regards to the um, butterflies, and uh, if you've seen my last video, you know what I'm talking about. Here's that washi tape thing that you can take off and use up. Uh, so somebody told me that, you know what, it doesn't, it doesn't matter. Let's, let's not go there. But there's no butterflies in this book, is there? Look at this cute little image. How cool is that it's from a magazine and i've sewn it onto something the back here's a bird and some fabrics and some this lace i accidentally sewn it on a uh, very crooked so i just added a little bit of this fabric that i had sewn previously and yeah it makes a difference you can see here how it's crooked is that a huge deal it's not a deal breaker is it not for me i like i, I don't mind it you know doesn't have to be all perfect lines. This is just a few bits and pieces. Actually, 
my last video was actually the tunnel books this and if you're watching this video most likely you've watched this video as well and this piece here was the leftover you know after i finished the project finished filming and then i had all these little leftover pieces and i was like what am i going to do with them so i did all sorts of different things with them and one of the things i did is this you can see the cutouts from here the leftover cutouts i just glued them together you know sewn right through added a bit of leftover piece you know that lace that i had over there it was a bit too long and that's all i had left just that tiny little piece in it and i made a little thing i'm sure you do that too it's just a little embellishment it looks like a vase you can even something like this maybe if this green piece wasn't you know if it was just just that shape and then you have flowers like that you know uh, in any case let's keep on moving on here's a sticker tulips i think they are could be totally wrong i really don't know flowers i know roses uh this is a piece from that master board that i've mentioned before clipped onto the page and then uh again you know this rub on piece there and these are little singular pieces that i glued down each one one by one i glued them down onto the page and then sewn them down so that was a bit time consuming and i kept asking myself why why are you doing this why are you doing this but i was adamant that i'm gonna do it so i did here's a little tab page there and then look at how beautiful this is uh, i'm not sure what this came off of but whatever it was i backed it onto some cardstock at the back and then one of these over the page banner things really simple concept you can really do anything with them or, or make them in many different ways and that goes in there tucked in and made by natasha i couldn't glue it down onto this page because it's quite busy this was done uh, this here was done in a tutorial in any case it's a little collaged piece here that i did on video and there's a pocket and just you know so many different little elements on that page and then again the writing board you know or journaling spot i put it here at the back might be a little bit too large for this journal no it's perfect fits in perfectly oh then i also have this napkin which i thought goes beautifully with the color scheme of the journal so that's here at the back as well and then also i don't know i made this you know in all honesty i've been making these journals for a long time i actually forgot what's in here but it's just little bits and pieces and that's in there popped a date at the back of the journal and that's that one okay let's have a look at this beauty next nice and bright orange cover uh, upholstery fabric and you can see all this sewing all around and then at the front all these pieces are added individually lace here doily here tool i think yeah, that looks like tool. This is all my mum. My mum and dad make the covers. And if you watch my channel, you will know these beautiful covers are made by my mum and dad. It's a joint venture, you can say. Love the dolly here. And then, of course, all the little details that my mum adds. So my dad makes the covers and then my mum, my mum adds the details. And we open it up. And here, this is the first page positivity you know um, this journal belongs to and then this we've seen in the other journals and then here i've got clipped in this piece of ephemera you may have even seen this little piece of paper in one of my videos because i was inspired by the coffee stains here and then i went along with that theme and here's another little just a little piece there a fabric cluster here on the side of the page and music page here and this little thing and the calendar long piece and then i glued i mean sewn on this extra piece of paper on the side to serve like a tag this is a flip up little secret journaling i mean it's not really secret because anyone can flip it up but you know what i mean that tag i spoke about before leftover wrapping paper and off we go make a little thing here is a tab on that page some sewing and you've seen the doily they all look really nice and really flat but when i first had them done because of the glue and water mixture it was completely the whole thing was completely warped and i thought what a complete waste of time and i decided never to do it again 
and I didn't, but I, it actually looks quite nice in journals like that, so I might come back to that. Here's just a little extra thing, extra journaling space, and then on this side, one of these, a recollection and a little stamp image there, tea dyed. This is Reader's Digest book, a little sticker here. This is a reflections page, so you can write about, you know, what happened on the day, how you're feeling, things you'd like to improve on, that kind of thing. Same thing here on the back. Now this one here, what is this called? This is a technique I did in a video. I'm going to have to look at the name of the video. You see this transparent? You probably have watched the video because it was quite a popular one. Okay, so this is the DIY rice paper, I called it. And basically, it's nap this is napkin, uh, the white ply of the napkin. When I remove the beautiful patent ply, and I'm left with just the white. And then I used that and glued it down on cereal bag. And then I painted with watercolor here, that's why it's colored. And then I peeled it off the cereal bag. So that's actually, there's no cereal bag here. So in any case, it's transparent, it's really, really cool. I hoarded this piece since I made that video, which was a while ago, and now it's going into this journal. And just another little piece of ephemera there. It just, of course I hoard it, I still feel like I want to hoard it, look at this. How cool does that look, I just love that texture. So anyway, I'll link that video in the description box and everywhere. And here's another piece from that video. So here what I did, instead of just folding it up, making an envelope, I actually uh, sewed it onto a book page and made a writing like a journaling spot. I really, that's something I want to go back to and make more of. Okay, so that's a fabric pocket here. And this is another, another one of those mason jar leftover pieces that I then went ahead and glued onto this file folder leftover piece and so of course you can go ahead and cut out the whimsical mason jars or you can just leave this as an over the page extra journaling space beautiful painting of a bird there and that's from but this looks like a Alice in Wonderland doesn't it probably is actually it is let's just say Alice in Wonderland little bunny that lives in that pocket there and another little fabric pocket and here is again cut out fussy cut out image it was a stamp book this is wallpaper and i've made a pocket and this is from that video where i made the texture paste and there's just a few bits and pieces so this is actually one of the fails i've shown this as a fail in the video because of all of the warping you know i don't mind the warping and i know a lot of us the warp, the warp goes with the sound, doesn't it? And we all love this crinkle sound. Well, apparently not all of us do. I don't know. Like I love, I love that sound, ASMR. But you know, from comments on my channel, I see that not everybody loves the whole ASMR thing. Here's a little embellishment there, and the washi tape thing, and a. Uh, an envelope with bits and pieces and then this is the middle of the signature and over here again the rub off rub on technique rub off what's it called rub on rub on little thing on calico and then again wallpaper pocket and then this is quite a beautiful part of that master board i nearly forgot what it's called i was thinking mason jar but yeah you can see look how many different pieces are here all of these pieces are separate pieces. All of this, you know, and then I had a stamp and some rub off letterings and some sewing and anyway, it's, it's a whole lot of fun to create, but it does take a little bit of time. And then over here, another pocket with some little things and flowers and another little doggy, because why not? And then here is uh, just a, vertical belly band journaling spot and then again there's a journaling spot there and another one of these the thing is you know how when i make videos and tutorials and stuff i always have a lot of examples to show and that's so that i have a lot of examples to show and a lot of ideas to give you but also during the creating the creation process i also come up with a lot of ideas as well hence why i have quite a number of these because I made them thinking I'm going to make a tutorial then I changed my mind all right this is another little journaling little thing and a paper bag and 
a sticker and again a little pocket here on the side and a tag and then this little bit here clipped on just a piece of ephemera and the other side of that reflections page and here today i'm grateful for i have a whole book and look i fill them all up i don't want to show my personal thoughts but i practice what i preach i suppose i think that's a beautiful thing to fill out at the end of the day and a sticker and what's this over the top of the page something oh yes i made a a notebook it's like a little notebook and it has this part so that's the part that goes over the top of the page just like that and then here a shorter page and then a paper ruffle here to extend that page don't you just love this small i mean i don't mean like i mean the whole thing in the junk journaling world you can have any any type of paper you can pages can be any size and you can do pretty much anything you want here's an, another one of those and that's what i mean like don't you just love all the things that you can do all right there we go you know what that is and then again here just extra little pieces oh look <laughs> so that's another piece of that rice paper this side is shiny because that's the glue i mean you might want to watch that video but that's actually the glue even though it looks like it's a plastic bag it looks like that because it dried on a plastic bag but it's actually the glue so if you take this piece and you rip it up and you add a little bit of water to it that glue will reactivate so you can use this piece and rip it up add glue and glue it down as part of your collaging or masterboards or whatever in any case that is this journal and only one more to go and this can also almost pass for a christmasy journal not really actually uh, let me show you the cover so that's upholstery fabric uh, beautiful flowers and all of the sewing everywhere and then all the little details added by my mum so you can see those hand stitched little beads and separate little bit look at this separate little round pieces of tool and then you can see all that glittery tool here and this beautiful trim and all the little flat look at this how cool is that all the little details this beautiful trim here is the closure it's non-removable let's have a look at the inside of the journal this first page here i did as part of a tutorial and i absolutely love this page uh the, the tutorial was circle punches and all the things that you can do with your circle punches and this is one of the pages that i did in that tutorial i think it's so beautiful and that's why it's the very first page that goes in there and off we go you will probably recognize a lot of the things by now this is that ironing technique some little house stickers here i love those little houses and then over here look at this beautiful flower that goes along with this image and this is an image i think it was from a book or something and i just stapled that on i just uh, it, i don't know why i stapled it on her hair and i think it looks nice a bit of washi tape here this is the piece uh, that's been dyed with red paprika so i'll link that video down below where we use natural ingredients that you have in your kitchen to dye paper and here's that napkin technique thing i know that i am repeating myself a little bit over here but i feel like i, I have to show each journal individually as an individual this is from reader's digest book because they will be purchased by different people so this one opens up here extended page now i think something was clipped on the other side so that's why the paper clip was there and yes this one was clipped on the other side so just a little piece of ephemera that i made journaling spot so i hope that makes sense that's why i'm kind of talking about each little thing even though you've seen all of this before you've seen the the doilies before and you know it's still an individual piece of it's still an individual journal so it deserves its day in the spotlight i mean it's what is it 15 minutes of fame here's a you're very intelligent and talented did you know now you do you see all right that's in there another one of these little things grateful that goes in there and then this opens up and there we have more writing space oh we forgot about did i 
Oh no, we didn't. I was gonna say, I forgot about this, but I didn't because this lives in there. You can give this an eye and I, I think the creases uh, look a little bit charming in my opinion. Uh, and this circles left over from that video that I made on circles. And here another one of page where I just had to glue down each individual ba uh, banner. And then a little charm here hanging off of that fabric tab. And again, an over the page little tuck spot. So anything can go in there. This is a rub on over here. And this, I think this is, I can't remember actually, but it's from an old calendar. This whole, this spread, I suppose you can say, gives me a very vintage vibe with the photo, this color, and it's a 70s kind of a vibe. What would you say? Was this, what, fifth? No, that's not 50s. 60s? 60s maybe? Do you think? Or 70s? Early 70s? I don't know. In any case, let's keep moving along. Here's beautiful scenery. And this, again, does it open up? Yes, it does. A little extended page there. Gorgeous, gorgeous fabric, little snippet cluster here. And I just love from the tea dyeing process, this section here had kind of all, I don't know, just, I think that looks kind of, it looks nice. And then this page, and then we have a raffle here. And middle of the signature, sewing on the pages more little ruffle there and this is a tuck spot with some bits and pieces in there i love these effects of the i just love how that looks uh, uh, not everyone's cup of tea but i like it here's some fabric sewn directly onto a page this is a few things so firstly the envelope with bits and pieces and that's clipped onto the page along with this image which I was going to use as a pocket but then it was too large so I just clipped it in. And then on the other side is that washi tape sampler. Let's call it a little washi tape sampler. And more of that. I'm calling it retro. Let's say retro. It's very retro. When would you say that is? That looks like 70s. That was definitely before my time, but... All right, so here again, leftover pieces from when I was making the tunnel books and leftover pieces from when I was making the circle tutorial. And then we have the masterboard. Oh, I love this one. Hmm, this is probably my favorite one. You know, you make this large masterboard. When you look at the large piece, it, it makes sense. So you have some areas that have focal points and then areas that don't because that's how we do composition. We have areas where the eye will go, but it's not all over the place. So when you cut it down, you will have piece, naturally you will have pieces that have focal points like this, and then you'll have pieces that don't. This one happens to have three postage stands, but of course, once you cut it down, you can always come in and add extra pieces. And who knows, maybe I did add this afterwards. I mean, who knows? And then we have that page there, look. Oh, I love that little tulip. Is that a tulip? I don't know my flowers. Oh, and more banners. Clearly, I was into the whole gluing down the banner thing. Little tab over here and a little something there. Beautiful printed page. I have no idea who that's from, uh, who create the creator is of this page because it was sent to me. So I won't be able to say. Here's another cutout vintage page here just a bit of something there on that page another sticker here and you know the reader's digest thing and here's a little pocket oh love how that looks lace and journaling spot there that's a fabric pocket as you can see and then wow I did this a very long time ago in a tutorial very long time ago altered paper clips and I've been hoarding this paper clip since then. And now, finally, I decided to part with it. And so now, it lives in this journal. And that is the end of this one. So again, you know, you know what this is. Writing board, love this. This is also very retro vibe, which is why it's in this journal. And then, again, this is just a few little pieces that the idea is that you're going to come in and rip little pieces of paper and do your own collages and that kind of thing so that's the idea of that there we go all right how cool does this look 
so full of yumminess and juiciness and goodness i love it so i hope that you feel inspired oftentimes when i watch flip through videos from other creators i get an urge to go and make a journal straight away especially when i hear the papers rustling and i just have to go and do something with paper so I actually love that, that feeling and I'm hoping that you have that feeling right now. I hope you feel inspired and I hope you're going to create something today, no matter how small or, or how extravagant. In any case, thank you so much for watching. I will leave the link to all the videos I mentioned and also to my Etsy shop in the description down below. If you don't see the journals in my shop, it means that they have already sold out. Sometimes they sell out straight away, sometimes they don't, so we shall see. All right, well, thank you again, and I will see you in my next video. Bye.